light, heat, communications. These are the essentials of modern life. Yet there are many parts of the world which lack access to electricity, being either too remote or not suitable for solar or wind. One location is Canada, where the need to power essential services such as mobile phone towers are critical during the dark winter nights. Other locations, like rural India, are also seeking clean, renewable power from its abundant agricultural waste. People have asked, well, what can you use methanol for? Well, methanol is the big and upcoming fuel. One of the most interesting ways methanol can be used is in portable fuel cells which produce an electric current directly from a chemical reaction and are built into, or charge up, all kinds of products. A common misconception with fuel cells is that they can be used as replacements for batteries. But in fact, fuel cells are unlike batteries because fuel cells use chemical energy to directly and continuously create electrical energy, whereas batteries simply store energy. A methanol fuel cell thus combines the energy density of liquid fuels with the convenience and maintenance-free operation of batteries. They can be utilized in a variety of applications from auxiliary power for ships, drones, buses, and even consumer electronics. Think about it like this. If a telco in Canada needs uninterrupted power during harsh winters, Those cell towers need some kind of energy to run and operate over the extended hours of darkness. Diesel generators can seize up, and batteries can discharge under the cold conditions, leaving emergency services powerless when trying to respond or critical communications to drop. Because methanol is also an antifreeze and can be sourced from renewable biogas, it becomes a natural complement to solar. Traditional solid oxide fuel cells are too bulky or alternatively based on hazardous chemicals such as phosphoric acid. The direct methanol fuel cell is the first to be targeted towards consumer electronics, as it generates low heat and can be supplied in spill-proof cartridges, leaving only harmless water and CO2 as waste. All of these portable power applications depend on a cheap source of methanol, and this is where the Gas Techno team comes in as they have pioneered their revolutionary mini-GTL technology. This process converts wasted gas like flared methane or biogas to methanol and other related chemicals. So the GTL field has a lot of opportunities with the gas flaring in North Dakota and Texas and around the United States, as well as around the world. And with this gas techno process, this is something that we see as an opportunity convert flared and stranded gas into methanol and liquid products. So having a stable product gives us much more flexibility compared to other technologies. Because methanol is biodegradable and easy to transport, it has advantages as the energy carrier for fuel cells. Gas Techno is working on a methanol in a box, which combines chemicals, electricity, hot water, and power in a single shipping container, which can be used as either a fuel depot or recharging station.